where's the where's the orange juice? Is someone taking the piss? So far, so good. No drinking, no smoking, and the fresh fish cakes are going down a storm. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 85 rated team of the season, Martin Odegaard Episodia. Now, don't ask me how we got him. We voted for him in our selection of 23 players. I don't know how many of you guys voted, but it makes me think that maybe we had a little bit, just a fraction of an input, a uh, fraction of a input. <laughs> Is that the word I'm looking for? A fraction of a impact, not input, impact. A fraction of an impact on the team of the season voting. The 23 team players uh, came out and we alas got a team of the season moments, 85 Martin Edegaard. Now before we go any further, if you guys are hyped that we got this SBC, if you guys are hyped that we finally unlocked the best ever, uh, first ever inform version I'm not sure if it's the first ever inform, but the first team of the season card and the first like high rated Martin Odegaard card that we have ever got across any FIFA. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna double check that right now. I can tell you for, with absolute certainty that um, it's the highest rated Martin Odegaard, obviously in FIFA 19, but it is the first ever inform team of the season, whatever, what have you, first ever special Martin Odegaard card ever, plus 335 total in-game stats over uh, the base card, which is a 74 silver for Vitesse, obviously. But uh, we now get his 85 rated card. So this is a historic, historic milestone for Ultimate Team um, and possibly one that we're not gonna see. Well, actually he's only he's still only 19 years old somehow. So it's very possible that we could see a bunch of other special cards if somehow uh, he gets maybe to a bigger league or starts banging in more goals and providing more assists for Vitesse. Now, if you guys are uh, Eredivisie supporters, has he played well enough for Vitesse this year to warrant going somewhere else? Or do you think he's gonna stick with Vitesse? Is, is he a good fit there? And is that about where he needs to be at this point in his career? Might have might have been a little bit too try hard with his agent and his dad trying to get him uh, into the starting lineup at Real Madrid, but who knows? Again, 19 years old, would have been nice to see him get a Future Stars card or something like that, but alas, we get, like I said, the 85 rated team of the season card. The question that this epi is gonna look to define is if he is a usable card in FIFA, obviously has a four star, we put five star skill moves, which is very, very nice. Now, a 183 rated squad is what this requires, so some people might say, given the stats that he has, might still be a little bit too expensive, but for my, for me, you guys know the second we saw this, you guys just absolutely flooded me with tweets uh, and then also on Instagram letting me know about this card. And of course, this has to be the first team of the season epi that we do. Ibra, I'm still generating some coins to be able to buy him. That's definitely gonna be an epi that's gonna come out over the course of the next couple days. Uh, and then also, you're gonna see this on a Saturday. I will be back streaming tonight. I decided to put the Marksman chem style on him because I did wanna get his uh, shooting up so he goes up to 80. With the chem style, technically it goes up to 86 finishing. Uh, his shot power goes up to 76 and then he goes up to 83 uh, long shots. So we're gonna actually play him as a left striker because he is left footed. Um, obviously he has the four star weak foot so he can, should in theory be able to put them in on either the left striker, right striker or cam wherever you decide to play him. And then dribbling we've also increased, goes up to 87 with the agility, uh, 76 reactions goes up to 81 and then 95 ball control and then 93 dribbling. So. We are gonna see if this card is usable. Another reason that I wanted to do this Edegard card, obviously we were gonna do him regardless, but the Eredivisie got a couple of really nice snacks in the form of Team of the Season players. And uh, we have that Taglia Fico card, aka Taglia Fook, with 97 pace, 93 defending, and 87 physical. I mean, look at this card. Look at the dribbling stats. Look at the defending stats. This card looks mad. More importantly though, out of all these guys, this guy, uh, Steven Bergwin, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that name, but two star weak foot lets him down a little bit, four star skill moves, but look at the stats. 93 uh, shot power, 89 long shots. Look at the dribbling, 98, 86 agility, 82 stamina, 84 strength. Um, looks like an absolute mad lad. Speaking of mad lad, Martin Odegaard looks like an absolute mad lad. So we're gonna get into a couple matches here. We're gonna see how this Odegaard plays as left striker. We're gonna have Bergwin as our right striker. And then I believe we're gonna try Donny van de Beek, who actually has 90 shot power, 91 long shot. So we're gonna see how he fares. He's got the four star weak foot, so he can bang them in from anywhere. Uh, we're gonna get into a couple of matches here. 
we are going to see if this 85 Martin Odegaard, AKA Cap Gun Tom, AKA Chef Ramsey, can get the job done. Match number one, and he's got a 187 rated squad with that 88 Carnivaler Talisca. He's got foot birthday Willian, foot birthday Cochino, uh, flashback Studge, and then flashback Chicha. Go on! Here we go. Oh, Bergwin! All right, that was probably the, that was probably the second closest scoring chance that we've had so far. That was easily the best scoring chance we've had so far. Bergwin is absolutely rapid. He's on. Wow, that's a wow factor. He's on. Bergwin, let's go! What a goal from Stevie Bergs! Certainly looks okay. Come on. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the Odegaard card, I thought he was like in the Norwegian Superliga. I didn't even know he was in the RDVZ, which obviously gives his card a lot more value, especially now that Team of the Season has injected, I think, three or four special... Um, well, at least Onana Tagliafico and then that Bergwin card. Um, Unbelievable. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna shut up. Oh, look at that pass. Oh my god, come on! It's a little bit funny. Unbelievable. It's a little... <laughs> Oh, oh, Nana. This is a mini player's way view of Onana as well, and he's been absolutely abysmal. Oh, Onana, dude. I mean, I know it's I know it's Ronaldinho, but Onana is honestly he's probably the worst 88 rated keeper outside of Alisson that I've used. That was a rocket. Ah, damn it. Uh, Bergwin's 84 strength doesn't help us there. So, so far, Odegaard's made some nice pass. It's the highest rating he has for any of his stats is his passing, but outside of that, we haven't been able to do much. We almost converted on that banger. That's gonna be game. So match number one went pretty much according to plan. I wasn't expecting to do a whole lot with uh, with Odegaard. Gets himself an 8.1, gets himself the one assist, and then Bergwin scores himself that blistering, blistering goal down the right side. Uh, I more almost wanted to focus on Bergwin in this epi just because his card looks pretty nuts. Uh, 8.65 shots, four on target, but we do get pumped, 3-1. Uh, so hopefully in match number two we have a little bit better luck, but right off the bat uh, Erdegaard seems a little bit weak and then also doesn't have the top end speed Obviously 83 is is fine uh, Especially if you're playing him in like a cam position, which is I feel like where he's probably best suited towards But um, match number one a little bit disappointed, but let's see maybe if there's a little bit of Martin Erdegaard magic Maybe some of that lightning in the back. Wait a second. Hold on. Oh, it's a different card type Milinkovic Savic right back Florenzi right back at right mid uh, Memphis Depay Dybala, Nangolan. I feel like, okay, we got a chance here. He's got Hernandez at left center back, Veron at right center back, and then Courtois, and then just regular AD Mendy at left back. Oh, come on, that was the closest we got.
Mark and Erdegaard. Let's go. That's the skill run of dreams right there. 1-1 one, one in the 40th minute right before half. That's what he's got. That is peak Martin Odegaard. N not everything there was because of the fact that he has five-star skill moves, but a lot of what he had there was ball control. Oh, that was off. Ah! Wait, what? Guard. That would have been sick. Come on. And a guard. There we go. 2 1. He's got two goals in match number two. Stand up. Wait a second. No way. No way we get the. What? Bar? Unbelievable. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's go. 3 1 to Airdivisi. Stand up. We're scoring some spectacular goals there. I feel like we probably should have finished that one with uh, with Eddie. That is over Theobald Courtois. We've scored three goals between Bergwin and uh, and Erdegaard versus arguably the best keeper in all of FIFA. That says a lot about these cards. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, Raf. He's only gone and given me a rancid scholar. Ah, uh, referee, dude, are you kidding me? Dude, he literally just clotheslined Chef Ramsey. He legitimately just clotheslined Chef Ramsey. And you want to know what? I suppose maybe we had a little bit of room to run there. I don't think we had to do a skill move. I think we could have kept on running. I think Odegaard would have been through. On the peak. Ah! We lose match number one, three, one, and then we win match number two, three, one. That is just how it goes uh, when the FIFA gods have their say. No, so so match number one was more about his passing, more about uh, becoming familiar with his card. Uh, has better than advertised agility, if I'm being honest with you. But as you guys can see, a 9.1 rating for and two goals with an assist. So three goal contributions from Martin Odegaard. Could have had himself that Hattie, but we hit the crossbar. Now, whether it's worth a 183 rated squad, uh, obviously you can get 85 rated cards if you're looking at it from the SBC perspective. Is it a cheap 85 rated to get? Not really. Uh, however, if it does require, if there's an SBC that comes out and requires a team of the season card, is that going to count as one because it doesn't have the little gold strip? Is it different than a regular team of the season card? Is it a team of the season? We know it's a team of the season moments card, but would it qualify in an SBC that requires a team of the season card? That is an interesting thing to think about. But in terms of uh, just wanting a card like this, a 183 rated squad, I don't think is a, sorry, an 83 rated squad isn't the craziest thing to ask for. I think all of us are going to want a little bit of exposure to the first ever special inform, the first ever special card that Martin Odegaard has had across any FIFA's my Norwegian fans. I know you guys have already done this one. Um, and my Airdivisi guys out there, you guys have probably done this one already. So for the price, I mean, I know it's not an incredible, incredible card, but he did some nasty stuff for us in that second match. And then also put on some nice uh, uh, skill moves in match number one, as well as match number two. So I'm going to have to go ahead and give it a thumbs up just for the emotional rating. 83 rated squad. Again, you can use an 85 in an SBC, but more often, uh, more likely than not, you're probably going to just want to hold on to this squad. Hold on to this card, uh, just as a guy to say that you got. You got, in FIFA 19, you got Martin Odegaard's first ever special card. But like I said, boys, thumbs up. Uh, is what I'm giving this card. If this helped you out, if this helped you decide whether or not you want to do this card, let me know. If you guys have any fun highlights or uh, special things that you did with this Odegaard card uh, in the game, drop me uh, that link on Twitter as well. Like I said, if this has helped you out, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Regular videos from home, back again tomorrow, Sunday. And then we've got team of the season that we're going to grind out for the next month or so. Very, very excited for that. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Adeus.